An afternoon at a Lexington park took a frightening turn yesterday. One minute, teenagers were skating in the park. The next, they were ducking for cover from bullets. LEX 18's Mike Valente speaking to one young man who managed to make a narrow escape, but not before his car was hit. Insurance will pay for the damage to Jordan's car, but there's no quick fix for the trauma he and his 16-year-old brother now live with. Thank God me or my brother didn't get hurt because that, you know, close range, that, that's a, that could be a fatal shot. Jordan's been replaying the whole episode through his mind. He had stopped by Berry Hill Skate Park to hang out with his brother. Soon, they noticed a group of teenagers getting into a heated argument. I wanted to get him out of a situation that I could feel was escalating. With his brother in the front seat, Jordan got behind the wheel, about to drive off. Then he heard shots. A bullet hit the back passenger door. Two more shots, not even half a second later, rang out, but shattering my passenger window and putting another bullet hole in my car. Three bullets in total, one just inches from his brother, shielded by the car window. That bullet could have killed him. 24 hours later, Jordan's brother is still shaken by what happened. So is Jordan. That's why he asked us not to do the interview here at the skate park. It's also why he's asking us not to show his face or use his real name. If you're going to shoot up a park in broad daylight, what else are you capable of? Jordan says it's not the first time he's heard the sound of gunfire. But lately, he says it feels like gun violence has become indiscriminate in Lexington. It's just getting reckless. Kids don't care. Not just kids, people don't care. I mean, it could happen to anybody at any time. Police say they're investigating what happened at the park. Jordan's brother has no plans of returning. In Lexington, Mike Valenti, LEX 18 News.